Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some errands to run, so I thought I'd go ahead and take you along with me. Let's go. So I wanna go to Dollar Tree um, and just check things out there. Um, and then I need to go to Target. And then I did make an H-E-B pickup for about an hour and a half. So got some time to just stroll around and look at things before my pickup order. And yeah, let's go. hour talking to my friend Jam at the coffee truck uh -huh. and then I forgot to record her giving my, me my coffee <laughs> um, but right down the street we're gonna go in just run around see if they have what I want and then head to Target because I will already wasted a half hour of my time <laughs> let's go Um, I forgot to do a little clip, but we're at Target now. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, no, hold on. Ah. Why? Why? Every time I bring my phone out today, just tell Margaret or start calling me. Leave me alone. Okay. All right, let's go in. Thank you. 
so I was driving home from, I was driving home from Target I was supposed to go to HEB but I was just chatting to my sister who's on the phone over here and I get almost home and I was like oh no I forgot to go to HEB to pick up my groceries and I wouldn't made it on time just in time for my pickup order but no <laughs> no I'm a little late but it's okay you you have to be here exactly on time but it would have been perfect but no, I messed up and drove home when I needed to come here. So yeah, now we just we just gotta wait for the groceries. <laughs> okay, I'm back home. I'm gonna quickly record what I got from HEB and that will go up on Tuesday. We can see my back. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree and Target um, and go from there. Good enough, okay. Um, ignore the groceries. I put all the cold stuff away. The other stuff I haven't put away. You get a little sneak peek, I guess, of what's to come. By the way, um, in that video, I said um, I wanted to try this beef jerky. Freaking! I almost ate the whole pack. I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. Okay, so I went to Target because of these. Um, they do like this Easter egg hunt in kindergarten, and you have to number the eggs and stuff. And last year, I ordered these squishy um, eggs because I'm like, they're not allowed, they're not allowed to bring candy. Um, and I'm just like, I don't want to go through the hassle of trying to find a toy that fits in the egg. In fact, last year, some of the squishies that came with the eggs, like they weren't pre-filled. It was just toys that fit in the egg. So I had to fill them still. Some of the squishies were almost didn't fit. So, um, I got these. They're already pre-filled. I just have to number them and get an egg carton. And, um, I just need 12, but I got an extra one, uh, because you never know, there might be a kid out there who doesn't whose parents were unable to get it. And these were only five bucks at Target. Five bucks. Her teacher saw them and she's like, hey, this would be a good good thing to do, so get. So that's what I got. And then I also thought last year, like kids brought confetti eggs. Those, um, So I thought maybe we could go to H-E-B. Those are like $2 and get some of those and we could use those as the egg cart cart cartons for these two. And confetti eggs are always fun. They're always fun. Okay, <laughs> and then, so I went to Target for that, but then, as you saw me earlier, I saw this little snail, and I got a bunch of their, like, wicker things last year, and that's all I'm going to decorate this year for Easter and spring. I don't want to go full out. Part of me is like, oh, you know what, it'd be nice to hang the eggs in the trees, especially since they're just starting to bud right now. They're not fully leafy like last year, but I just... I don't know. This year I'm just not in the mood. I have a lot of things going on. I just don't want to deal with clutter and more because then I have to take the eggs off. I just I just want simple this year. So I'm just gonna get my bunny and the chicken and add the snail and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do this year. And then I saw these and I couldn't resist. How perfect are these? And like there's a different one for each kid. There did they did have this like little car one. And like it was like a hippie truck almost. And I thought about getting that one for Penelope because that's just so Penelope right now. But it came with two of the peeps in it. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. Um, and they didn't have any other ones kind of like it. I couldn't get them all that one, especially since it was kind of girly for Landon. Um, so I was like, these are perfect. I saw these first and I'm like one for each kid. This was the last princess one. So we lucked out there. So we each get a different one. Penelope. Rayleigh, Landon. Okay. So that's it for Target. I spent like 40 bucks. Okay. Then I did tell you guys when I went to Dollar Tree, um, I was I went there because I wanted to get some cross stickers because I have been working on the scrapbook for my niece and I need, I wanted to have some scrap, uh, cross stickers for her baptism page and cause I'm her godmother. And um, I, could, I didn't want to order any online. I've been ordering a lot of the like big packs of stickers off of Amazon because it's like $5 and you get like 300 of them. So I'm like, oh, I'll score. But I couldn't find any cross ones I really liked that weren't outrageously priced. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree see what they had. They had nothing, nothing for crosses. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, but I did get some things. Um, okay, I got two bags of these little tiny 
um, clothespins because I needed those for my garland for Christmas when I hang the Christmas cards on there. I may do with the clips I had. Um, I just never went to the store to get these, so I was like, I might as well just get them now. I'm going to be going up there to get my spring stuff out. I can stick those in the Christmas bin while I'm up there. And I did get some stickers. I got these little cactuses, some butterflies. I also, these little clothespin um, cactuses, I got those. And the llamas, so cute. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but they're cute. Um, and then I went back to the sticker section and I got these little alien stickers. And um, I found these horoscope kind of looking ones. I don't know if you can see really well with the sun. I might have to do a close up of the stickers later. Um, and then I went over to the corner section. They always have a lot of cute girly stuff. Um, fun stuff. I got this little journal because we've been playing D and D a lot lately, and I thought this would be good for Penelope. Um, now that I think about it, I probably should have got one for Rayleigh too because she, she, you know it's good to have scrap paper. I should have got one for her. Um, I was gonna grab one for Landon, but they 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 don't have any boyish ones. Um, but I should grab one for Rayleigh because she doesn't. I was like, oh, she already has a journal, but she doesn't use that for D and D. I I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't get it though. We'll have to make another trip, I guess. Maybe to a different Dollar Tree because he find more stuff. Um, but right away when I went over to that section, I saw these little pens and they have pens similar to this at the book fair. And I was going to ask Rayleigh, Hey, do you want one? Six dollars. I will say like this top gem was bigger and they had gems all down the side of it. But for like six dollars, it was the same, basically the same thing. So I got one for Penelope or one for Penelope, one for Rayleigh. Okay. And then... While I was over there, I saw these. I got one for Rayleigh and Penelope, both both of these, two cents. I don't know where the other cloud is right now. And I wish, I wish they had something for boys. This is this is sometimes so hard because I'm like, oh, I can put these in there, it's Easter baskets. But I looked all over that store for something for Landon. And I'm like, why couldn't there have been like an emoji one, just a smiley face? Or even a poop emoji. I would even go for a poop emoji. I just need something like equivalent for a boy. And I didn't want to get like an action figure or something because that's not really, this is, not toys, more decoration they can put on their shelves. And I'm like, I don't have an equivalent for Landon, so I'm gonna hold on to these. Maybe this could just be something I get them during the summer or something if I don't find something equivalent for Landon. Because it's always been a little problem. Like, I need, I, I find all this cute girl stuff, and I'm like, I need an equivalent for Landon, and I can't ever find it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I look at it like this. This was perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then I saw these for, you know, summer's coming up. I know it technically isn't spring yet, but summer's coming. And I was like, these are little popcorn bags, so I'm gonna put them in my cupboard. And then when summer starts for the kids, we always do movie nights and stuff. So I, I figured that'd be a fun little change. Oh, here's the other clown. And I got, did I show you these already? I got these little bag clips because I thought they were cute. So I spent $25.71 at Dollar Tree. And it was really, it was kind of weird. So I ha they had such a huge line and only one person checking out, and uh, which is fine, but then like she leaves and she goes and gets somebody. I'm like, oh cool, another lane's gonna open. But she's like, no, no, she brought her up to blow up balloons. She's like, we have an order for six of these balloons at noon. And I'm like, it's 10 o'clock. What, why are we filling up these six balloons? Yeah, open another lane, get this all checked out. <laughs> like she finished blowing up the balloons. And I was still waiting in line and there was four other people behind me still. I'm like, and then she, she didn't open the register and she just left and I'm like, okay. So anyways, I finally get checked out and I get my total, I put my card in and she starts checking the person behind me out as I'm still checking out. She just starts bringing up her stuff and I like, I used to work at Walmart and I couldn't do that. Like I, if I was in the middle of a transaction, I couldn't do anything. I'm like, what? Well, how are you? I was like, is she adding this stuff to my total? It ended up not, but I'm just like, I've never seen that before. Never seen that before. Let me know if you have, but I don't know. The lady was, <laughs> the checkout lady was kind of rude. So I had a basket. I had this stuff in a basket and I just left it in there. So that way I wasn't taking up. I just left it in there. <laughs> and um, she takes my basket and she just dumps it like this. So all my stuff, the pens, everything goes everywhere. And so I had it, I didn't make it so like that way the big stuff was on top so she could easily take it out. 
And then she was, she was like, oh, all the big stuff's at the bottom. I'm like, yeah, because you just dumped it out. So then she takes the bags and these stickers and pulls them out and more of my stuff follows everywhere. And I'm like, these better, I was like, throw it. I was like, these better not be broken, but I just threw it. So who knows? <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I just never seen someone start checking out the person behind them when they're still like, my card hadn't even gone all the way through yet. I was just starting to type in my pin number when she starts reading at the girl behind me. Never seen that. I was baffled. Baffled, I tell you. Baffled. Okay. So, yeah, that was my little trips. I don't really have anything too much to show you um, because I'm going to be working on our projects that we have going on. And, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to call it here. This was just like a run some errands with me kind of vlog. And, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.